Okay. So I think, <coughs> excuse me, I think we're live. So I shall endeavour to have a go at this then. So I, this is still very much a test of whether I can in fact live stream efficiently or not. So if you are watching, I apologise if this seems a little bit, oh gosh, I can't even think about what I'm saying. Uh, it seems a little bit unprofessional. This is still very much my first time of trying to do this properly and having it work. I have remembered this time, um, after last time's audio debacle, to actually bring water, which is a big buff. Forgive me if you hear like grunting and drinking sounds. I assure you there's not some kind of wildly beastie here, it's just little on me. So, uh, okay, there seems to be, there we go. Um, so today's task really is to attempt to plan, write, and do, do, what a terrible phrase, uh, basically to attempt to create an entire story um, in in my writing style really so I'm going to uh, open this up out to the whole world and take you through the process from start to finish um, excuse me I'll be right back <clears throat> so, I suppose better get back to the uh, business at hand. So, as some of you probably know, um, I primarily write horror stories. Now, I tend to um, write short horror stories, and, and the reason for that is I'm sort of in the middle of writing a novel at the moment. I've done the first 80,000 words or so, but what I'm trying to do now is use short stories as a way of playing with with narrative so I'm going to start off the way that I uh, I always tend to so with a bit of a tension graph there so again for those of you that, that don't know this is basically time um, in the story and this is kind of tension you know what what's what's the main thing um, that's going to happen so um, I'm just trying to think Let's try going. I think we're going to go for something first person this time because I tend to write a first, third person. I've done some epistolary stuff before, but we'll do first person. Um, we'll do it from um, an unreliable narrator. And we will make it. I tell you what, why not make it in the vein of. Yeah, we'll make it in the vein of the old sort of Victorian ghost story so it will be if you like a third hand account and what I tend to do a lot of is I tend to make things a little bit cerebral so I tend to build the tension straight away so for a bit of a difference I'm going to start with something immediate so I may actually reconsider this but I think first person immediate, perhaps something on CCTV, perhaps something dangerous, yeah I like that. And it's going to be weirdly silent because it's been captured on film doing something. Hmm, okay, so we're going to sort of see the monster straight away so that's going to be critical so in terms of our monster 
I want it to seem outlandish. I do want it to seem dangerous. And I want it to be inhuman in nature. I don't mean like what it looks like, but I mean in terms of its outlook. So, not that it's bestial, but that it's something. Something that we don't understand. And those of you who are into that kind of element of gothic will understand that, that actually the nature of things being scary is because we don't understand that we don't know exactly what's going on. Um, also CCTV silent. Gonna have this person obsessing. Oh, it's gonna fall back into that psychological horror, isn't it? Obsessing over the event. They're not going to be believed. Because why? Ah, okay. So something goes wrong with the CCTV. So it's unrecovered, so nobody believes them. Um, so what's going to be crucial? So we're going to have the monster, we're going to have the person that's viewed it. Police? Mm, I don't know, somebody in authority. Anyway, I oh, mean, pens running up. Um, and we can also have someone who, do we need more than three? We have a relative that's worrying. Yeah, let's have that over obsession. Now, I suppose we could set this, we can set this. Somewhere where there would be CCTV, so maybe some kind of transport hub. Mm, somewhere underground. Because actually that makes it more fitting, doesn't it? Somewhere where the light cannot penetrate. Okay. Now, now then, some keywords. That I want because I want this to be quite visceral. So I want the word gobbit. I want something to do with ica, something internal, organic, and wet. So if we got that as my main plan, let's think. So we're gonna have that immediate blood and gore going to have the unbelievable I'll tell you what the problem is when you buy a pack of pens all at once they all run out at the same bloody time right so much for forward planning there magpie uh, this is unbelievable mm, and obsession so those are our key themes First person. Yeah, let's do it. Let's do it from the point of view of that person that is perhaps a little bit mad. So let's go. Let's do a cross between. Yeah, a cross between kind of M R James and uh, H P Lovecraft. <laughs> okay, maybe maybe looking a little bit uh, too full of myself there. So. Oh, hi Boggs, how are you? Good to see you, thanks for joining. So we've got the blue also. Let's start off on the opening. Mr. No, present tense? Past tense, no, I think. Stand there. Aghast. At what I have seen. In silent grey, 
black. I can imagine the red. The more gobbets, here we go. Great word, gobbets. Something that I read in a book when I was a kid. I always liked that phrase, gobbets of flesh. Something quite intrinsically nasty about that. Gobbets of flesh strew the ground. The walls. The ceiling. In those sepia greys. In my mind. <laughs> uh, no, I did I say Tolkien? No, I think. Um, oh gosh, who did I say? Uh, Mr. James. No, I, th I think Tolkien's probably a bit too much for me to be honest. Uh, Super grace my mind. I can see and hear the red. Getting darker and darker. Getting darker and darker as it makes its way. As it makes its way through this meal. I can only watch. Stomach churning. So I think, I think that's the opening. It will require a little bit of editing. <laughs> well, I, I have to agree with you, Box. I'm, I'm exactly the same. I have to force myself into writing. So I tend to find that if I plan and set myself tasks, this one kind of cheating a little bit today and, and trying to trying to get it all done within like an hour's time frame but we'll, we'll have to see I find if I don't sit down and do it it never gets done um, and I keep putting it off so I thought I'd try something today see if it see if it does does help it seems to be it seems to be working to an extent um, you have to excuse my terrible left-handed boy's handwriting it is it is dreadful uh, so right I need to do something more with that description I need to talk about I need to bring something in movement wise I need to talk about I need to talk about smell or the perception of it and I think I probably do uh, I need to focus on this bloody monster right what am I imagining what am I imagining something that is capable of ripping something apart a person now it's getting darker I know what distended belly distended belly widened mouth five, <laughs> five pages of description oh gosh I don't think anybody's ready for that yet maybe 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 if I can, maybe if I do a bestiary of all the little nasties that I create in my mind, we can, we can, we can work on doing like a non-fiction version, you know, like a, an accompanying, accompanying guide, something like that. Have I got anything on the shelf? I don't think I do here. 
Well, you know what I mean, anyway. Uh, Why didn't mouth long nails? I'm either going to go like f completely furry or bald. I'm not sure yet. Hmm. I don't know what's creepier, like a pale, wasted thing in the distance, or something that's beastly and matted and covered in in things that should remain inside a person. I don't know. I'm, I'm not. You see, this is this is why I'm this is why I'm trying to write this because I'm not very good at writing specifically with monsters. It's more like illusions, and I'm trying to do like a very vivid description here, which is quite alien to me. Anyway, so what's our time frame going to be? When's all this going to happen? Yeah, I know what's going to happen. Yeah, there we go. Time had passed. Yeah, I, I, I'm, t I'm totally with you there. Absolutely. I mean, when I flick through any pages of mine, I sort of go, oh crap, was that, that that all started from what I do, and then I find I'm writing a totally different story, but hey-ho, it is one of those things. Uh, time had passed. I knew, because, oh, this is a bit grim, but I'll do it anyway. I pissed myself. heat had been comforting. Oh god, is this sounding a bit too much like bloody fan fiction and erotic porn now? Um, had been, <laughs> heat had been comforting. Oh dear, I made myself feel a bit sick. Comforting. But now it was cold. It smelled lifeless. Like the screen I'd been watching. Hmm. That's not a bad shout, actually. Does anybody know what the quick of nails is? I know it's a phrase, but I still don't know what the quick, like if you bite your nails down to the quick. Um, the quick of nail beds, hair, everything. Ooh, that's why this is gonna be, that's why this is horrible, because it takes everything, nothing remains. It's consumed all. I like that idea though, Bugs. Ten things that I find really quite disturbing. Right, so let's have a quick so erratic movement. Rippling under the skin. Oh, I don't know what it is, something about that. Too many appendages. Because I like the idea of lots of little things that sort of add up to something horrible. Oh, thank you for that. The white semi part just prior to actual skin is a quick. Well, you see, you learn something new every day. Thank you very much. Because I genuinely had no idea. And it's one of those things that I always forget to Google. And also, I kind of I get a bit saddened by Google because it kind of takes the joy out of these kind of conversations. 
Oh, he's not going to have any toes. I don't know why that really freaks me out. Hmm. Oh, that says more about me than the monster. Just bladed kind of ends. That kind of, yeah, I know what I'm thinking of. Like tongue. Yeah, 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 I know what I mean. There's that kind of invertebrate. I'll tell you what, Bugs. If you can, oh, I'll see if I can find the video for you at some point, but there's a really weird little, like, wormy thing that gacks out this awful tongue. It's kind of like tree branches, the inside of lungs. Pretty grim. Time pass, so we've got that around it all. I was found. They thought I was drunk. You see, yeah, that's what I was thinking about, but I was thinking about having like just sort of a smooth, rounded, almost blade of a foot at the end. Um, I can't remember where I'd seen something like that before. It might have been in something like, oh, what was that TV show called? Oh, are You Afraid of the Dark? Now you might not be, you might be too, I, I'm not sure how old you are, Bob, but certainly if you're of a certain age like I am, that was a huge TV show back in the 90s. I'm sure I saw something like that. Or maybe it was Roald Dahl's The Witches. I can't remember which, but it really freaked me out. I thought I was drunk. Soiled and babbling. I was incoherent and pointing. Ooh, what if? What if, what if, what if, what if this monster can smell fear and obsession? Almost like that's how it knows. <laughs> Never watched Dark Angel, but X Files certainly did. I might have to start watching that again, actually. do don't they I, do, I need to find out what those what, actually that thank you that's given me a little note there find out the hormones for fear because I'm sure it's more than adrenaline there's something else but I need to need to know what that is what's that um, say that dogs can smell fear well my, the only thing my dog can seem to smell is where you keep the cheese in the fridge because she keeps sitting outside of it and panting Ooh. Okay, sitting and panting, I like that as an idea. Ooh, nice, good idea. That's right. That's another thing, those sort of, you know those shark eyes, like when they roll over? Yeah, 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 yeah. That's a good one. So actually, at the end, right, at the end we're going to have erotic feet moving, and I'm going to leave it on a illusion, I think, I, can't, I don't think I can do vivid description for everything, I'm going to have to allude to it, so erratic feet, pacing, trickle of sweat, Something like that, that's a bit twee, but I'm going to use it, I think. Trickle of sweat and 
one last gasp of breath. <laughs> okay, so it's going to be while they're on some kind of phone call, and they can, and the person can hear the sounds of feeding, cracking, and oh, I've, I've got to find another verb for sucking because again, it sounds dangerously like I'm a script writer on a well-known site that ends in hub. Tarsier. Tarsier. I'm not familiar with that. In fact, I am going to Google what a Tarsier is now. Uh, oh! That's a Tarsier. Oh! God! They look like eye eyes, don't they? Oh, that is... That is what I believe all steampunk cosplayers dream their eyes to look like one day. Wow, that is... I presume that must be nocturnal. Ah. Oh. Sorry, I've got this new lamp and I haven't quite worked out how to turn off the timer on it. Um, ooh. They are... wildly disturbing. God. Okay. So... <laughs> okay. How bizarre. Well, that is a great suggestion. I did like that. Do you know what? I think I'm going to make the victim look like that. Oh. Bogs, there is something fundamentally wrong with you, and I absolutely love it. I mean that in a really, really nice way. I hope I hope that came across as polite because it, it was it was absolutely meant to be. And God, there's the Brit in me, right? Do you know what? This has been a very productive planning session. Normally, this takes me about two hours, and I think, uh, oh man, 20, 27 minutes. My goodness me! And I thought this would be me just prattling on to myself in the void. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. We're gonna have that. I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna borrow that Tarsi a bit actually, if you don't mind. <laughs> I'm really glad that you do. I'm really glad that you do. Oh, passing at the eyes of the victim. So, no report of missing persons. Uh, disappear. Are we going to have the finish being some kind of headline? No, I need to think of a city with an underground. How am I going to make Where am I going to make it? I do Hungary. Hungary's got a really old underground. Budapest, maybe? Yeah, let's do that. Somewhere a bit different. A bit twee, haven't it? In, always set in London or New York. Yeah. Yeah, let's do Budapest. Yeah, we'll do that. Um, we'll find a headline. And all of these are going to be tourists. Now, I know if there's any Hungarians out there, I won't make it about vampires because I know you all get a bit annoyed at that whole idea of Transylvania and, and Dracula. And I know it's technically it's in Romania at the moment. And I know that's a sticking point for some of you. Um, but we'll just make it some kind of feasting thing. What? Why does it need to feed on people? Why doesn't it feed on animals? What do we have? Ooh, hormones. Hormones, hormones, hormones. I'm going to go back to those fear hormones. Because it can't produce them itself. It's going to end up being a novel in itself, this at this point, this right. Do you know what I've done? I've made a critical mistake, haven't I? I've got to do my 
like the OCD thing of numbering the pages. Do, 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 do. 50, 51, 52, 53, 54, 55. Hmm. I didn't know that they were prehensile, but I knew they were like blue or black. Yeah, I, th I think so. I think just playing around with that, because mind you, there's no real original stories anymore, are there? Right, let's see how this sounds. <coughs> Excuse me, while it's quick. Um, here's looking at you guys. <sighs> now, if I was proper British author, that'd be a pint full of gin, not just a Brita filtered water. Not sponsored, by the way. <clears throat> right, let's see if these first couple of sentences make sense. I stand there, aghast at what I've seen in silent grey and black. I can imagine the red gobbets of flesh through the ground, the walls, the ceiling. In the sepia greys, I can see and hear red. No, it's not too bad. A little bit of work needed, but I think that gets the tone over. So I've got the image. I think I need to play with time a bit there, go backwards and forwards. So talk about what's left, then talk about that, then talk about the pissing of the pants, and then how this thing eats and finishes. I'm totally nicking that bug eye tapia thing for the for the corpse. Actually, do I need to explain why it eats people? Well, that can be... I can know, but I don't, the reader doesn't need to know, so at least I can allude to that. I do like some allusions. Right. Okay, well, I think that's the planning stage finished. So I am going to cheat a bit. I'm not going to write the whole story out now because otherwise you'll just hear the, the sound of clicking and clacking for an hour and that'll be too much for anyone to bear. Um, so I think I'm going to draw that to a close for now. Um, I'd like to thank you very much for joining me. Boggs, you have been outstanding. Thank you ever so much. Um, it's, been, it's been like a proper writing session with Writers in Resonance. I really appreciate that. Thank you. And thank you to the, uh, I think, the other person who was listening in for a little while as well. So... All it bids for me to say is thank you for listening to Magpie Stories. I wish you a very pleasant evening, afternoon, morning, wherever you are. And you'll hear from me again soon. <laughs> thank you very much. All right. Good night, everyone.